Hey, what's up YouTube? It's ICU and today Apple has released iOS 11.4.1 to the public, which may very well be the last iOS 11 update before iOS 12 is pushed out to the public this fall. So in today's video, we're going to be discussing everything from what 11.4.1 actually does to how it impacts jailbreaking and also a warning for those currently jailbroken on 11.3.1. Now be sure to give this video a huge thumbs up if you're either happily jailbroken on 11.3.1 or you're going to be jailbreaking soon also click that subscribe button below next to the channel name to ensure you don't miss out any time we cover news pertaining to jailbreaking. Also down below in the description there will be a link to our in-depth 11.3.1 jailbreak playlist that contains everything you need to actually jailbreak and also to fix a number of issues that individuals are encountering with this Electra jailbreak. All right so having said all of that let's go ahead and get started by launching up Apple's developer portal here which as many of you know does contain the latest developer updates but down below at the bottom it also states release software so you can see here under release software that we do have iOS 11.4.1 right here and it does contain a build number of 15 G 77 so what does 11.4.1 actually do you might be wondering well it follows up the semi-recent release of iOS 11.4 that brought AirPlay 2 as well as messages in iCloud to the public and 11.4.1 seemingly just fixes things from a security standpoint and also a couple of bugs that were discovered once 11.4 dropped pertaining to probably AirPlay 2 as well as messages in iCloud. So overall, it's just a stability and performance update. It's nothing too amazing. There are no outward facing changes that you as the end user will notice, just bug fixes and improvements and overall general polish because as I I mentioned toward the beginning of this video, this is likely going to be the last iOS 11 update unless additional bugs that require more patches are discovered in 11.4.1. Now, as for the warning I mentioned, if you are already jailbroken or you're on a jailbreakable firmware, which does range from iOS 11 all the way up to 11.3.1, then definitely avoid this update at absolutely all costs. Down below in the description, there will be a link to a post on besttechinfo.com that contains a download link to the tvOS beta update profile. And what this actually does, interestingly enough, is it blocks iOS updates from the OTA section inside of settings general software update entirely. Again, if you do install the tvOS beta profile, those are completely blocked inside of iOS, so it will prevent accidental updates. Updates. Again, if you do update to iOS 11.4.1 on your device, you will essentially be locked out of jailbreaking. There is no way to go back to a jailbreakable firmware unless you're already jailbroken, which of course is a catch-22. I know it doesn't really make much sense, but if you are already jailbroken, you can make use of some tools that allow you to restore to an unsigned firmware provided you have your blob saved. So that's a lot of ifs. Chances are good that won't be applicable to 99% of the people who watch this video. So long story short, if you update to iOS 11.4.1, you will not be able to jailbreak period. If you're already on 11.4, same goes for you. You will not be able to jailbreak until the next jailbreak utility is released. And as I've discussed several times on this channel throughout a number of update videos, this is also likely going to be the last jailbreak for iOS 11. So we likely will not get a jailbreak utility until after iOS 12 is released to the public this fall. So again, the reason for that is because the iOS 11.3.1 jailbreak utilizes an exploit that was disclosed by Google Project Zero's Ian Beer. He actually disclosed it to Apple. Apple patched it in 11.4, and then the jailbreak community got to work on creating a jailbreak for the firmwares that supported said exploit, which were up to iOS 11.3.1. So that's why we have a jailbreak, because this exploit was not what's known as a zero-day or previously undisclosed vulnerability. Again, it was already patched before the jailbreakers started to create the latest Electra jailbreak for 11.3.1. So that's everything you need to know ranging from what iOS 11.4.1 offers all the way up to whether or not you can jailbreak and when we can likely expect a new jailbreak. Again, this is probably going to be the last jailbreak for iOS 11. Even though we have seen demos on 11.4, we probably will not get that and that probably won't see the light of day. 
We almost certainly will not get a new jailbreak until after iOS 12 is released this fall. But of course, things in the jailbreak community are dynamic, never static, meaning they're always in flux and who knows what could happen. So of course, just be sure to click that subscribe button and ding that notification bell to be informed anytime we release new jailbreak updates or anytime anything changes on the scene, you will be the first to know. I hope you guys liked this video. I hope it helped you out. And until next time, this is ICU signing out.